India has had a long love affair with trains. Its British colonial era railway network helps knit together a vast and diverse subcontinent and is one of the largest and most profitable railway networks in the world. Today, India is in the thrall of a different kind of railway, urban metro rails that can help make its massive sprawling cities more livable and reduce long commuting times in choking traffic. When work began in the 1990s, a modern metro seemed like a fantasy. Today, New Delhi's metro is one of the biggest in the world, covering more than 190 kilometers and carrying more than 2.2 million people a day. It has transformed life for many commuters. It's comparatively safer, convenient, and faster, and cheaper, of course. I'm new to Delhi, but uh, one thing I like in Delhi, which is metro, a lot. In Delhi, you have a lot of traffic while going by bus and other means of transport. Metro saves a lot of time. But other Indian cities are having trouble replicating the Delhi metro's success. In India's IT capital, Bangalore, members of the lower castes are upset about moving a statue of one of their heroes, and the dispute has held up progress for months. Bangalore's metro planners had hoped to have a 42-kilometer network running by the end of this year. But right now, the network is less than seven kilometers and has just six stops. To the people who are traveling in this route, it's very helpful for them. But when the network stands in the city, uh, within like two, three years, it will be very helpful for the entire people. The disruptive construction process is adding to the pressure on India's already congested streets. Major roads are torn up and huge piles of rubble and building material are exacerbating already notorious traffic jams. Every construction has its own plus and minus. So they are doing it quite well. Once it, they give the finishing touches, it will be like this. Other cities that want metro rails are finding it difficult to secure financing. It is a challenge, no doubt, for every city to um, uh, earmark so much amount of money. But the benefit which the cities are seeing and why they are, they are willing to fund these projects is that the economic rate of return of these projects is very high. For example, phase one of the Delhi Metro cost about 2.3 billion US dollars for, this, for, for the Delhi Metro as a corporation. And this cost has already been recovered in five, six years, not by the Delhi Metro, but by the city. As more and more cities start planning metro rails to deal with the chaos on their streets, major international engineering companies are increasingly looking to India as a promising market. Today, the metro trains uh, company Bombardier, they have a factory in Savli. Alstom, I believe, they are opening a factory in Chennai. Then these huge tunnel boring ma machines by Heron Connect, they are being made in Chennai. So, uh, they are watching, with the city is coming and the metro is coming, it's become a very big uh, base for metro manufacturers also. It's going to be a quite a huge industry now. India has struggled to build modern infrastructure to keep pace with the demands of its growing economy. Roads are inadequate, power is in desperately short supply, and even telecoms are erratic. But New Delhi's metro has proven that India does have the capacity to build world-class facilities. India's love affair with trains is unlikely to fade anytime soon. Amy Kasman, Financial Times, New Delhi.